Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. All right, let's jump into it. Let's move a bit into this little reference image closer. So we do different shapes. You can see there's different shapes, random shapes. And what I like to do is apart from you can see they're flat. I like to have a little bit of a slope on each um, of the shapes, different slopes, so it makes it even more random. And at the end, I show you how to get this. You see the edge here, the distance is all the same. It's parallel, so it's cut off. So I'll show you at the end how to do that quite quickly and easy. So let's go over here. I started with uh, this setup, very simple. It's sort of a little pond or swimming pool if you like and i've got my first shape here that shape i drew with a roof so very simple you know you, you have simple roof settings and the main thing is at the moment it is flat so there's no degree so it's like a flat stone in the reference image so what i like you to do is we just add some more different random shapes so very simple take this one um, roof and we just add simple shapes for now have a look this is the construction line for now I like to keep the construction line the same okay so I'm just really randomly starting to do some shapes okay there's another one and we do some more I speed this up for you a little bit okay so we got some uh, good shapes here let's have a quick look there you go they're quite random they're all flat still and now the next step is i like to add a bit of randomness with the degree because it's a roof tool so if i select at the moment the roofs let's just select them all and for this purpose let's make them 10 degrees so I put 10 in and let's have a look in 3d so if we go down now we can see they're already a bit random, but not that much, but they're 10 degrees at the moment. Okay, so it's nicely sloping. Now, what I like you to do is each of those, you see the construction line of the roof. I like you to change this. So what I do is go in here, let's move it parallel to some of those stones. Okay, so you take this, just go there. So they're always parallel to one of the, sides you have here in your different random stones so do that quickly okay as you can see all the construction lines they're now parallel to one side of those random stones so if i go to 3d now let's right, have a look so this is already a lot more random you can see because the stones obviously slope different ways so that's the next step you have to complete to make it a lot um, a lot of randomness into those stones great so let's go back to the 2d now the next step is an add-on step it we don't have this in the reference image but i thought oh this would be quite cool so we add some stripes around those stones so what you do is let me start with as example with this one here and you all, all you do is you copy and paste all right so i'm copying and I paste so we'll go and scratching the same we'll go exactly into the same spot there you go, you click outside. So I've got two pieces here now. So if I go into 3D, you can't see at the moment, but there's exactly two pieces above each other. So take this, select that one, and let's actually, you know what? We should do this first in 2D. So go here and just extend this slightly. Okay, so maybe for now, yeah, let's make a 20. And we have a look in 3D. Yeah, see, there you go. So it's extended slightly now, which is great. And I like to select this now. And we make this, go in here, we only make this, make it 20 for now, the thickness of the roof. So this goes right to the bottom there. And we move that up. Make sure you move up in a straight line to there. Okay, you see, it's a little bit lower, but I like to have it actually right there let's go move up again there yes great now we change this material i do this light too there we go great so you gotta do this with all of them but before you do this 
and the other ones I do them quickly but this one now you can just um, elevate down let's elevate this increment and spread and you do okay and you just do it by eye you know let's go make it maybe like this and you just add a couple you know it's up to you you can do make a run all the way down or you know let's just do it like this there you go Great, so we got that, and obviously each of them you have to group. Okay, I grouped them all, and now before I keep going, you noticed I changed some of the shapes to a different light material, and the top one I copied down, I changed that to concrete. Now, how do we get this more random? The next step is to give those different shapes different roof degrees, so you can just change the angle of the roof, and that gives you more randomness. Okay, now what I like you to do at the moment, they're all on 10 degrees. Okay, so if I select any of them, see there's 10. So what you can do is I can do them now six. Okay, I'll go to this one and we say 14. The randomness, it's getting really good, isn't it? Okay, I'll leave it for now, but there you go. You get the picture, so you can really change this at any time to select some of the stones and change the degree of your roof. All right, now, you gotta randomize them along here. That's a little bit more, now it's not difficult, but to make it really look, look random, you have an option here. So as this is still selected, don't suspend groups. Couple of tries, because I like you to, to have a look. Um, at, at the moment, select them all, okay? So I drag them and I increment and spread no vertical displacement make sure and i don't need to pick a path but i like to randomize it select randomize and let's just see what happens i do that quite a lot let's just go up here there you go i clicked again and what happened is you see it's sort of randomizing it but you can see already this is not gonna work because there will be well it's random yes it is random but they are on top of each other okay so in 3d it looks kind of cool, but it's a bit messy. Okay, so let's undo this step. So we can see it's not good to select too many of them. Let's try and select just four. Let me just undo this um, magnet. Okay, now let's just do four and we try this again. Go from the middle. Let's go up here roughly there and see what happens. So if I go straight, there you go. So it's not too bad. We can you can work with that. Okay. The the only thing is I have to say, it is always those four, those four, those four. They just rotate. If you if you look at this one here, see this shape here? It's that shape there, that shape there, there. So it's just look. It's still good, but to random to randomize that randomize that more, you might have to then obviously move them around. And I think that's not a bad idea. You can also just do one of them, of, of course. You know, you just do one and you randomize like this, okay? So it's a bit trial and error, I have to say, but you get the picture and it's sort of fairly fast to do. So because they're all the same, I rather than say, okay, I go back to my magnet and I like to move those ones you know randomly in place now where it looks more random to me okay as you can see i placed them randomly around and if you notice they're going over the edge here so in 3d this looks like that okay and there's a reason to it because you notice in the reference image they actually cut a light uh, like two or three hundred mil distance around which makes it look really nice actually so i'm gonna do the same in this case, ne my next step is now um, let's take a polyline and use the rectangular um, geometry method and let's draw this from here all the way down to here. There we go. Now we select this polyline. I, wanna, I want you to go in by let's say two or three home. I mean you have a go by eye first to see what you reckon it could look nice. You know that's a bit much obviously. 
but this looks not too bad. So I think 200 is good. So I put 200 in, there you go. And all you have to do is now we go um, to the roofs and you say select all roofs. Make sure you suspend the groups and you can cut them, split them. So I'm going here, just click there, that side and the outside that I split is still selected. So I can just delete this. And again, select all, split, and we do this side, delete. Okay. There we go, in 3D, you can see you got a really nice edge now anywhere around the, um, the water edge. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and I see you back next time. Bye for now. Thank you.